This is News Channel 4 at 11. Cemetery shame, how the living have dishonored the dead by vandalizing and neglecting a queen's cemetery. Good evening, dignity gives way to disgrace at the final resting place for thousands of New Yorkers. It's called the cemetery nobody wants. A queen's burial ground opened during the Civil War, abandoned for years by those responsible for its upkeep, and now targeted once again by vandals. It's a story you'll see only on News Channel 4. Greg Sergal has more on this troubled Bayside Cemetery in Ozone Park. Eternal rest has been shattered at this 100-year-old mausoleum in the Bayside Cemetery. Marble smashed to bits and four coffins torn open with the remains of the dead visible. It's all the work of vandals and no surprise to neighbors like Daniel Rijos who's seen other cases of vandalism here. The windows are broken on some of the, the mausoleums right here. It's not hard to get into that place, let's put it this way. Making matters worse, sources say this horrifying scene has remained untouched and unrepaired by cemetery workers for weeks and possibly months. The president of the Manhattan congregation that owns the cemetery tells News Channel 4, we didn't know about the vandalism until last week. We've contacted the Department of Health to determine the safest way to handle the human remains. Vandalism isn't the only problem that's taken its toll on the Bayside Cemetery. Decades of neglect here have left parts of this old burial ground almost unrecognizable. It simply horrifies me because I'm one of the few people that actually visit the cemetery. I go there two or three times a year, so I know what's going on. Beth Rock's grandparents and many other relatives are buried here. But the 77-year-old from Manhattan says she had to take the cemetery's owners to court for failing to maintain the grave sites. During our visit, we found parts of the property overgrown with bushes and weeds, and many headstones broken or turned on their side. We are prepared to do whatever it takes to help them clean up the property. We are, there are many safety concerns when, when involving the area in and around the cemetery and the conditions inside. But the cemetery's owner says little could be done because of the financial woes that hit congregation Shire Zadek in the 70s and 80s. Some cleanup work is now underway, but it could take two to three years to wipe away all the damage that's been done. Greg Sergal, News Channel 4. The Bayside Cemetery is not regulated by New York State because it is a religious cemetery.